New deal points on the Comcast NBC M&A. Fox News and the White House go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. TLC and Joe Gosselin go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And on the sports TV news, Obama's Olympic pitch. These stories and more as the TV news begins now. This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV TV for Friday, October 2nd, and here are today's top stories. The deal points in the previously reported Comcast NBC deal in discussion have been clarified. Multiple resources are now reporting that the deal hinges upon a Comcast GE joint venture with Comcast having controlling interest. NBC would then be spun off from GE with both entities contributing cash to the new operation. And those contribution numbers are said to be still in negotiation. But what seems certain is that both companies will be contributing all of their content assets to the new co. Now there is one wild card in the deck, and that's Vivendi. Vivendi has a 20% ownership stake in NBC. We'll keep you current as more information becomes available on this developing story. According to The Hollywood Reporter, it's on with name calling between the White House and Fox News Channel. The White House has issued a blog branding Fox News Channel's constant assertions and criticisms as lies. Fox's Chris Wallace has taken up the banner, calling the White House, quote, the biggest bunch of crybabies, unquote. And how about Glenn Beck? Well, Beck has just put overtime in being, well, just Beck. And that's not helping to cool tempers on either side of the verbal Donnybrook. Can these two adversaries kiss and make up? We'll report. You decide. For more details on the battle for sandbox supremacy, Log on to HollywoodReporter.com. Let's file this next story under Dumb and Dumber. On Wednesday, the TV News.TV reported that NBC was prepping a mid-season game show called Perfect Ten. This show is predicated upon contestants vying for fabulous cash and prizes via proficiency in household chores. Apparently, this is such an awesome and exciting concept that Fox has Xeroxed, I mean, uh, benchmarked the Peacock by ripping off, uh, by acquiring a very similar UK game show slated for prime time down the road. This game show, which requires exceptional skill and steely nerves, is called The Cube. Have a look. Flick the ball using only one digit and land it inside the target container. You have two lives, Dean. But have you got the nerve to take on the game and win 50,000 pounds? Yes, if I can just flick this pencil into the garbage can over here, it could be a brand new Mini Cooper for me. Oh, I want a brand new car! Carney Games. All that's missing is the goldfish in that cube of water. Now, anyone who wishes to license my new game show, The Carney Games, well, you can email me at Grimshaw at the TV news TV. Are you listening to CW? And speaking of a carnival atmosphere, big problems at DLC's downsized John and Kate Plus 8, soon to be just known as Kate Plus 8. John Gosselin is pushing back big time, obtaining a court order that TLC shooting crews stay out of his house and keep away from the kids. TLC has responded by suspending any shooting that involves the children. And on a side note, John Gosselin, he, well, he's backfilled with some new work. He'll be introducing his new namesake milkshake at West Hollywood's famous shake place, Millions of Milkshakes. Well, John, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. The Sports TV News is brought to you by Store & Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to storeandassociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. Every Friday, we hit you with the Sports TV News here on the TV News TV. President Obama was in the Danish house today to speak during Chicago's final pitch for host city for the 2016 Olympics. So, I urge you to choose Chicago. I urge you to choose America. And if you do, if we walk this path together, then I promise you this, the city of Chicago,
the United States of America will make the world proud. As you know, Chi Town is competing with Madrid, Tokyo, and the sentimental favorite, Rio de Janeiro, for the starting nod. The vote is scheduled for later today, and we'll issue a special alert when we see the smoke turn from black to white. Well, um, that's for a different kind of vote, isn't it? In just a little over a week, the UFL football season gets underway, and HDNet has just announced their starting broadcast team. Paul McGuire and Kenny Rice will be stationed in the booth, with Ron Kruk and Natalie Taylor handling the sideline reporting duties. Now, for those of you playing at home, the UFL describes itself as high-quality pro football that caters to underserved markets. Commencing October 10th, HDNet will be airing five games during the UFL's inaugural season, and all games, of course, will be aired in true high def. Future events and opportunities, brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. If you want to score big on the sports media and technology playing field, you might want to attend the Sports Marketing and Technology Gathering, and it happens this November 12th and 13th in New York. For more information, visit sportsbusinessconferences.com slash SMT. And don't forget about TV's first big industry event of 2010, the Nappy Market and Conference, January 25th through the 27th in Las Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. Registration is open right now, and you can start the process by clicking on the link just below this viewing box or log on to nappymarket.com. Oh, and don't forget, only 23, 23 days until the 2009 CTAM Summit in Denver. For more information, log on to the brand new CTAM.com. And that's it for this edition of the TV News here at the TVNews.tv. Two stories we're watching very closely and we'll issue special reports when news breaks. The 2016 Olympics vote and the purported Comcast NBC negotiations. Have a great weekend and remember, you can catch up on any of this week's editions of the TV News simply by clicking on the TV News This Week section. We're seeing that happen a lot and it's great that people are opting to stay current. Meanwhile, we'll be back on Monday with the only daily video newscast about the TV industry for the TV industry. And this Monday, we'll be presenting the Big Picture and the Monday Funday TV Trivia Quiz. It's your chance to win big. Until then, hang with the TV News on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Please tell all of your colleagues about the TV News here at the TVNews.tv. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome weekend. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.